came out here with the lady right here from my front yard and uh, had to do CPR on her. Right now at five, we're hearing from man, a man who rushed over to try to save a woman's life just seconds after she was hit by an SUV. Despite every effort to save her, 70-year-old Carol Ansel, a retired teacher, died at the hospital. The driver claimed she backed out moments before that deadly collision on Kimberly Lane. Channel 2's Roseanne Aragon is in the Memorial neighborhood where this happened. And Roseanne, you have learned new details about the impact that Ansel had in her community. That's exactly right. From neighbors, loved ones, and friends, we are learning more and more about the impact this woman had on many people's lives. Parents tell me she's their children's favorite teacher. Her friends tell me she was always willing to help. Neighbors here on Kimberly Lane are taking a breath after a gut-wrenching morning. We just have a long history, and I'm just, every day is a gift. Joni Holder says she lost her dear friend. Her name, neighbors say, is Carol Ansel, a retired Rummel Creek Elementary School first grade teacher, pictured all the way to the right alongside her former colleagues. They say Ansel gave her heart to everyone. She just always pitched in if there was something wrong and just was loved as a dear, dear friend. Investigators say the 70 year old and her other friend were taking a routine morning walk around 7 a.m. when this white Volvo erratically drove their way. Inside, officials said, was a 37 year old female driver with her two year old in the back seat. The driver told police she blacked out and couldn't remember what happened when her car hit multiple curbs. At which point she took down the sign, she crossed over took down the stop sign. Investigators say the car struck the 70 year old woman who was trying to jump out of the way. She was right here. Homeowner Victor Guo tried to save her life, giving CPR. I know that you know, we got the coronavirus going on here, but it's just common decency to try to help the best you can, right? So that was probably the only thing that was going through my head. This tree brought the car to a stop. This neighbor was right next door. It's very scary. I mean, it could happen to anybody. The 70 year old didn't make it. The driver's child was okay. As for the driver, she was evaluated by a drug recognition expert. Um, she was cooperative. There's no early indications that intoxication played a role in this crash. Now, the DA's office tells me they are still very early in this investigation and they still have to look over evidence, including analyzing the driver's blood sample. For now, this community says they will greatly miss this retired teacher. For now, reporting live from the Memorial area, Roseanne Aragon, KPRC, Channel 2 News.